Andre. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How about yourself? Yeah, not bad. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I've just got to go and get the door. Be back in a sec. Yep. Hello, good morning, crew. Um, Tom. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry about that. Back now. All right. Press the meeting notes. Right. Okay. Um, so just running through upcoming events. So we've got a couple of weeks. We've got the ONE ONE summit. Um, and there's a lightning talk about CNF certification. That's good. Um, then we've got after that same place, the LFN Development Testing Forum, which includes a workshop self certifying as CNF. Is anyone from this group going? To either of those events, do we know? Um, I can't travel at the moment, but I don't know if anyone from this, well, the, the three others on the call are going or not. Uh, I don't know, you can hear me, uh, Tom? So, yeah, okay. Yeah, I have plans to travel uh, to the One Summit. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I will be there also as in, during the. Um, Nephew Summit as well. Oh, okay. okay. Um, uh, that's good to know. So then in April, we've got KubeCon. I think the CFPs are open for another couple of weeks yet. Um, if people want to get some in for that. And then talking of KubeCon, I don't know if anyone was able to get to the event in Detroit last week. And whether there was any feedback on the Carnegie Telco Day or or the event in general. Well, from from my perspective, one of the interesting topics for me was uh, multi network. Um, seems like the the community is retaking that topic again. Uh, 
So hopefully this time they, they can make it. Um, there were basically two discussions. One, a brief discussion on, I guess was uh, the Monday. And the second largest uh, discussion was on Tuesday. So where they tried to cover most of the um, use cases, uh, implementing details, uh, so things like that. So hopefully, hopefully they, they cover all the corner cases and uh, we have something uh, that supports multi-network. So, so they were like trying to focus from the API perspective. So they didn't try to uh, discuss about the different implementations or different tools. So, which was a little bit nice, I guess. Okay, that's good to know. So was that specifically the network plumbing working group or was it a wider group of people? Okay. Any other thoughts on KubeCon last week? Uh, do you, William, do you uh, found any interesting session during the KubeCon or? Yeah, I went to a great talk by Ed Warnicke of Cisco about the state of um, cloud native networking really helped me put a lot of things together about what's going on. That's good to know. So I think most of these talks will be available on YouTube at some point as well, which would be good. Watch that back. Okay. Um, right, so the only other agenda items of PR review. Which bring up now, and then issues review. So let's have a look at PRs first. So there aren't any open PRs at the moment. Um, there are some open issues. Um, so let's go on through those from the oldest first. So there's one here, do not run containers with the privilege flag as a best practice. Uh, it's got Taylor and Victor as the assignees, but I don't know if you're working on anything in particular on that. Um, next one, requirements for multi-interface from Daniel Bernier. Okay, yeah, we just started creating that draft. Um, have you had any comments on that, Victor, your draft about um, multi-networks being defined in annotations? Yeah, probably that draft has to wait until, uh, you know, the committee decides about the multi-network support because definitely that that new uh, proposal is going to change uh, the way that I that I'm suggesting the best practice or anything like that. Okay, should I should I mark it as on hold for now then? Yeah, yeah. The other the other issue that I have, especially with NSM, they decided to uh, re-implement most of the. Um, SDK. So uh, when I was trying to update the source code, like uh, to make a valid use case, um, uh, yeah, basically I, I couldn't make it work for NSM. So and also Danon seems to be abandoned. Um, so so yeah, so that reduces my mm. 
my, yeah, my, my use case for only for multis, which is not sense to, to have the level of portability among different um, uh, uh, platforms or, or, or solutions. Yeah. And so the, the committee you mentioned, is that the network plumbing working group? Or is it a different committee that we're talking about the multi networking? No, no, no. This uh, the multi network is uh, the the SIG network. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, just note that down. Okay. Um, next one is add title to exceptions doc. Ah, oh, this was one. Um, so, Victor, you look, you were looking at back in September and waiting on Ian Wells. I don't know whether you were going to crack on without his feedback or not. Right. Um, so the next one was, I think, assigned to Taylor. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get updates on the rest of the issues today. There's one in my name that's assigned to me. I haven't had a chance to look at it, unfortunately. So there's been no progress on that. Um, so other than the, so there's no PRs, we've gone through the issues. Any other thoughts on KubeCon, welcome. Um, anything else that people want to raise today? Yeah, um, well, one of the, interesting things that i found in the also in the kubecon and probably it's not related to network was about they were like developing a tool to uh try to detect some inclusive line um, i mean or looking for words that is not part of the inclusive language so probably i'm going to investigate more about that and um, given that we have some documentation maybe we i can implement there uh, just try to um Put it more into the documentation. I mean, it's not a big deal, but as long as that tool can provide us something. Uh, so say it again. So it was a tool. That yeah. So basically, the tool, yeah, the tool is. Uh, yeah, I try to uh, look for words which are not part of a more uh, an inclusive language. So, ah, gotcha, okay. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. I mean, it's. But I don't know if they have automated the tool or like make it easier to consume it. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe that can help some. Yeah, useful in the documentation effort, certainly. Okay, any other thoughts on KubeCon? Otherwise, we'll close the call. And I think we're on next week. We're into November next week, which is a bit crazy.
Anyway, okay, good. I shall see you all next week. Thanks, Tom. Uh, thank thanks you. All. Bye. Bye. Thank thanks, you, all. Tom. thanks for that, William. I'll put that link in the uh, in the notes. Thanks, all. Bye. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good day.